Hello and welcome to our video on calculating the mode. Uh, the mode is not so much a measure of where the centre of data is, uh, it's more useful to tell us where most of the data lies. The mode of the data let's put a box around this special rule is the most frequently occurring number in the data set. You can have more than one mode um, and that's okay, you just list both of them down, uh, but they both need to have the same um, number of times occurring. So in the example we have the two class A and class B with student test score results for each class. Class A, all, all we need to do to find the mode is to um, find which number occurs most often. If all of the numbers just happen once each, there is no mode. We say there is no mode. Um, in class A, we've got 57, 58. Here we have 74 and 74. So there's two of those and only one of everything else. So for class A, mode equals 74. It's the most frequently occurring um, test result. For class B, we have 51, 62, no double ups yet. 86, 86, 86, so there's three of those. And then we have 97, 97, 97, so three 97s as well. And everything else is, so nothing is more than three. Because they're both equal with three um, data points for each, we have two modes for class B. Mode is 86 and 97. Thanks for watching the video.